Hi, this is Rick Hansen on Love, the 52nd and last practice in my book, Just One Thing. Humans evolved to love. As the brain tripled in volume since our ancestors first began manufacturing stone tools, uh, the survival advantages of love, broadly defined, really helped our ancestors pass on their genes. Love, therefore, is woven into both the fabric of the brain and human DNA. Of course, it's important to receive love, but love is love, whether it's flowing in or flowing out. So, if you like, you can explore the experience of deliberately working the muscle of the heart, as it were, and focusing on giving love. A way in, of course, is to start by priming the pumps, if you will, uh, lighting the fire with a sense of receiving love. Another thing you can do is to bring your attention to the region of the heart, and that will associate with the social engagement system and the vagus nerve, etc., in the brain. Uh, more fundamentally, it gives you a nice fuzzy feeling, which I like, a nice warm feeling. Uh, and then last, you can deliberately strengthen your sense of love by uh, being more intentional about it, including using thoughts like, may you be well, or may you not suffer, or may you be happy, or internal thoughts such as, I love you. You know, at the end of the day, it takes courage to love. The lack of love, the lack of giving of love, the sense of thwarted love is a deep form of suffering. And it really helps to be an ally to ourselves, to be a friend to ourselves. In a sense, loving with ourselves, to have the courage, whose root is the word heart, to be able to give love. So let me say as I end this entire series of Just One Minutes on the chapters of my book, Just One Thing, that uh, while I don't know you personally, most likely, uh, I truly wish you well. And may you not suffer, may you be truly happy, and may the benefits such as they are of your own practices ripple through you and help all beings. So, may you love.